Hi everyone, welcome to the Essence of Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm sending you all much love. So I'm here to do a water sign reading for all Scorpio, Cancer and Pisces. So if you have these signs in your chart, then this reading may have messages for you. Or if you're cross-watching even, yeah, thank you for watching. So I hope this reading helps. Let's jump in. I'll start with the messages here to outline this reading. So we have pay attention to the red flags. It says the signs are cautioning you. And we have let your friends help you. It says ask for and accept support from others. And we have flirt. It says extend your light-hearted energy to others. So let's pay attention to the red flags. Let your friends help you and flirt. So let's get the tarot. Tap into the energies surrounding this situation. Let's see what spirit wants you to know. What's in your energy field during this time. The three card spread. We've got the chariot here. Cancer energy. We've got nine of pentacles and three of swords in reverse. Right, let's clarify. Dig a bit deeper. See what else spirit wants you to know. So do remember this is a general reading, you guys. It's not personal. So uh, I may pick up mixed messages for different people. So only take the messages that resonate with you and leave what doesn't. The energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So flip the roles as need be. So I do appreciate you taking the time to watch this reading. I hope it helps and gives you clarity. So now that I've laid out the cards here, I can see whoever you've pulled back from is still obsessed over you. Yeah, someone's still obsessed over you here. It looks to me that they're actually hurt, actually, for your swords. This person's hurt. Whoever you pull back from, they're missing you. They feel left out in the cold. You're really not giving this person um, the care and attention that you used to. This is someone that you're not giving any attention to. You're not entertaining. Yeah, five of pentacles. They're out in the cold. Ooh, it looks like a painful separation. This person's hurt. They're actually hurt that they're out in the cold. They're not a part of your life. I, I feel like this person is did did just not a part of your life. At this point, yeah, they want to reunite. They're missing you. So we've got a chariot here. They they're determined to uh, reunite with you here. This person hasn't let you go. Yeah, we got the three of cups. Reconciliation energy. You know the energy of people reuniting, coming together here. Yeah, this is uh this is the focus. So yeah, you got someone focused on reuniting with you during this time. This could be an ex lover or a friend, someone you used to be friends with, you know, because we have this message that says let your friends help you. So for some of you, this could be a friend, someone you you used to be friends with. They're missing you. They're missing you. Uh, it looks like um, you pull back because it's, it, it, uh, it looks like a third party situation. Yeah, three of swords, three of cups. Okay, so yeah, maybe this is someone that tried to keep you in a third party situation. This is what it is. Yeah, so it looks like you took yourself out of the equation. I feel like uh, you're probably someone uh, that knows your worth. So uh, your self-respect, you know, that you have for yourself just uh, made you pull back from this situation here with this person. And it looks like Nine of Pentacles, you're someone, you're probably enjoying your single life right now. And I'm getting that, um, that's what's frustrating for this person, the fact that you're enjoying your single life. We've got the five of wands here. This person, there's frustration here. 
this situation is frustrating for this person here. I feel like they hate the fact that you would rather be single than to be with them. This is what it is. It's like you're showing this person you would rather be single than to deal with them and what they got going on. Yeah. Uh, maybe for some of you, this person, I'm getting, you may feel like this person comes with drama. Maybe dealing with this person, you know, it's just a lot of drama. This person comes with drama. Maybe you're someone, you know, that would rather have a peaceful life, you know. You're protecting your peace of mind. You're protecting your peace during this time, I mean. Yeah. This person, I feel like they hate the fact that you would rather be single than to be with them. Um, it doesn't... I'm getting that this person, they don't fully understand your decision or what you're doing. Maybe they feel like you're playing games. This person, just, they maybe don't fully understand you. This is why... But I feel like um, you, you and this person's energy is just not in alignment because you're operating on a single vibration, a vibration where you're single, you're independent, self-sufficient. And this person, they operate on a more codependent energy, you know, vibration where they're attached to somebody else, you know, they're attached to a, probably a karmic situation where they're not happy. You know, so they're very codependent. They're they're not on the same vibration as you. Yeah, your 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 energy and this person's energy is just not in alignment. Maybe this is why it's a struggle to get you guys together. <laughs> because this person they're attached to somebody else. It's a third party situation. I feel like there's something or somebody that this person is yet to let go of. So, because it's like they can't let go of you. So, it's something that they have to let go of. If it's not you, then it's, it's, it's the other person. You know, I feel like in this relationship here, or this connection with this particular person here, it's like somebody has to really know what they want and make a decision here. You know, because somebody wants something new, but they have to get rid of the old do you know, in order to have, to make space for something new to come into your life, you have to make the space. You have to let go of something that's just weighing you down, something that's no longer serving you. So something or someone that someone here has to let go of so that you guys can be on the same vibration. Maybe you're, and you're, you're someone, you're probably aware of what this person's got going on. So I feel like if during this time you guys do reconnect and reconcile, you know, you guys may not see eye to eye on a few things here, there's issues here. Five of Wands, you guys may have a little debate, have a little argument or something. There's something you guys are not seeing eye to eye here on a few issues. So yeah, honest communication is definitely required, it looks like. But, you know, I feel like you're someone, you are you are paying attention to these things. You're paying attention to the red flags in this situation here. This is what you want to focus on. Maybe this person, they just want to, you know, reunite and act like nothing's happened and pick up where you guys left off or something like that. But there's clearly issues that needs to be resolved. Which is three of swords here. Yeah, there's clearly issues that needs to be resolved. And this person, they may need to confront they need, they need to confront these issues, be able to confront these issues as well. Otherwise, it just doesn't make sense. I'm getting that you really shook this person, shook up their world. With this tower here, I feel like you pulling back has uh, really like made, brought in some major changes for this person, you know, internally, you know. Is giving them some sort of awakening. I feel like they're now starting to see your worth as well. It, it probably took for you to have to pull back from this situation for this person to see your worth. I feel this person wasn't seeing seeing your worth. 
So now they do. Your self-respect is making you look more romantically attractive. Yeah, now this person sees your worth now. They see what you mean to them. Your energy is just everything for this person. It's like, yeah, they just don't feel happy without you in their life. No matter who they got going on outside of you. This person is yearning for you. They're yearning for your energy again. I'm getting that, um... They can't stand to see you with somebody else. This person really doesn't want to see you happy with somebody else. Because they're not happy without you. And they don't want you to be happy without them. This is why they're coming in. Determined here. Because with the five of wands, I'm getting, for some of you, you may have competition. This person may feel like they have competition for you now. Because you're single. You're enjoying your single life. You may have, like, other suitors that want your, you know, time and attention as well. I, I feel like it's not just this person. They're not the only ones that, you know, want to extend their light-hearted energy to you, for you. Yeah, this person feels like you are out here extending your light-hearted energy to others. They feel like you are out here flirting with other people. This is what's frustrating this person right now. It's like, you'd rather be out here single, enjoying your single life, entertaining other people than to be with them. It's like, they're really jealous. This is this is what is driving this person to really, like, come towards you here. Just the thought of you with other people or someone else, it, just, it drives them crazy. I mean, they're keeping tabs on you here. Clearly, page of, page of Pentacles here, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this person keeps tabs on you here. Wow. They can't let you go. Yeah, I like you. It says, someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, want to date. Yeah, for some of you, I mean, this person, they see your worth now. Yeah, you, you look more more attractive, you know. The more you focus on yourself here, the more they're focused on you and they like it. They like it. Yeah. And I feel like other people like it too. Yeah, I feel like other people like it too. I feel like you are attracting a lot of attention during this time. It's not just this person. Ooh, yeah, keys in the ring, many options. Yeah, for some of you, you have options. You have many options. You may need to make a decision here, you know. But back to what I was saying, this does look like a third-party situation. This person was trying to keep you in. And they need to make a decision here. It's like you have put this person in a position where they have to make a decision, you know. Like I said... Yeah, we've got healing heart, healing from heartbreak. It says freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. So, yeah, you're focused on your healing. I feel like you've healed from this situation here. And I feel like, I also feel like this person wants healing as well. They're hurt. Three of swords, I'm getting, you know, this person is hurt. This separation is painful. Yeah, they want to um, heal their heart here. We have soulmate. It says soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. So for some of you, you have a soulmate connection with this person. This is why they can't let you go. This is why they obsess over you. They miss your energy. You know, yeah. I feel like it had to take for you to step back. Pull back your energy for this person to see your worth. Oh, we've got twin flames as well. So, this could be a twin flame connection for some of you. Oh, I'm getting this competition is between a twin flame and a soulmate. Oh, you got both a twin flame and a soulmate connection that wants to be with you. Oh, wedding rings. Yes, heavy competition. You got people out here that wants to marry you. Wow. Yeah, it's serious times. Oh, good luck with this situation, you guys. I mean, you've got people coming towards you that wants to put a ring on it. So, I wish you all the best. I hope this reading helps. Thank you for your support. I'll see you soon.